Yeah. Come with say yeah. This is Carbro's podcast, episode 71. Woo, the big seven one. The big seven one. What's up? Welcome the, to the new digs. The newest mm-hmm. of digs. The house. We're in John's third office in this house. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I would, I would call it the yeah. <laughs> spare, spare office. Third office slash second game room. John and his wife are empty nesters. Uh, <laughs> yes. In a large house, so. This is the second spare game room. Mm-hmm. Um, when the other game rooms occupied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The other game By rooms the occupied. one other person. Of those <laughs> in this house. You never know. <laughs> she's been, uh, she's been sequestered. <laughs> um, what's up? Thank you for being here. Welcome back. Um, something about Patreon. Yep. We have mm-hmm. one. We've got one. Check mm-hmm. it out. Google Still there. It, if you Still care. There. Yeah. Although we've been, I mean, I guess you'd be a fan of the podcast at this point. The thing about Patreon, I just want to say, and I've said it before is like, you're give as much as you feel like. Yeah. You're not going to offend us if you like dip. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it's well, like, we will talk about you behind your back, but yeah, aside, aside it's, from like, that, yeah. it's like, if you just want to give us three bucks, like sign up for a month mm-hmm. and like, check out the content. Test I feel the water. Like, I mean, I love all our patrons, um, but like people, they give you like an exit thing. It's mm-hmm. anonymous, but like you can fill in a thing. Yeah. And people are like, Oh, I'm like, sorry, my financial situation mm-hmm. changed. And like, I'm going into the military or mm-hmm. something. It's like, Bro, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Content <laughs> dropped off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. We're not as active on there as we should be, but um, we're not as active. In we'll make that a New Year's resolution. Be. Yeah. 2021 is going to be coming up hard. Speaking of patrons, one of our patrons, Jesse Rice. What's up, Jesse? Sup, he, Jesse. he messaged uh, us on Instagram, and a while back we had sent him. He asked for like, hey, can we get a windshield banner for his race car? He has like a Camaro. I'm assuming it's a drag car based on the photo he sent. I don't know if he takes it to the track or not, but he finally messaged us, and he was like, oh, I finally put on the windshield banner. Sick. Here's a couple photos of us. And it looks dope. Yeah, so I'll, sh- I'll, I'll put a picture of that. Is that an American it. flag on the yeah, that, roof? We, didn't, that we I, didn't do that. That, that was not he, our contribution, no. but he tied it in nicely. <laughs> yes, I yeah. have to say. Yeah. Looks solid. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Hope you're doing well, Jesse. He's in Oregon, right? I don't know. He's in I somewhere. He, I believe so, yeah. Jesse Rice? I mm-hmm. think so. Yeah. That whole state's on fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hope he's doing well. We passed the fires. <laughs> along <with laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> yeah, we gave him, mm-hmm. gave him our fires. Um, speaking of cars, the Fieri <laughs> is mm-hmm. sold. It's gone. Yep. Well, no, it's not gone. It's, it's not sold, gone. Yes. As of this recording, it's not gone. Yeah. Um, but he paid it for it, right? He pay, Yeah, I paid... And he, the problem is this guy was in Montreal. Yeah, Canada. Which um, I know where Canada is. It's it's like by the Great Lakes. It's like East. Canada? No, no, Northeast. Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's like. Far. It's like Northern New York, yes. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's on it's the like east. It's like the other yes, side. Yes, the, of the east Great. side of Canada. That's it what is, I was trying to say. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. It is like over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't realize. It's a hall. <laughs> I guess in my mind, I thought it was like Vancouver. Just straight north. Yeah, no. Um, and so he's trying to figure out the cheapest way to get it there, which he, I mean, it seems like he's doing. And maybe by the time we release this, he's already done it. Yeah. But um, yeah, lo- the logistics of shipping that thing seems to be holding him up. But um, should we talk about that auction? That kind of ties in with some other sure, stuff. Sure. Let's talk about it after. Okay. I'm realizing how we. i'm now realizing that i set this up poorly let's blow through some of this other shit first okay because i've got some good stuff boilerplate i've got some good stuff between here and there so we realized that we we kind of have like a um like it's just an ongoing list of potential podcast topics basically that we all contribute to and then kind of pick and choose what could be strung together. Mm -hmm. Like these are not scripted, but they have a loose. loose. Yeah. (laughs) Uh Just so we don't forget our trains of thought. Very Mm -hmm. loose kind of structure to them. Um, But some of the topics are so small that they'll basically never make it on there. And every once in a while, we kind of like blow them all out in mm-hmm. one of those like lightning yeah. round things. But even still, some of them, this is like the Cheeto dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crumbs that don't even have like a, 
They're not even worth like a whatever. So we like to open up with those. They wouldn't even get a paragraph if it was. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. And so um, we're going to do what is called five second takes Mm -hmm. um, in the next couple podcasts until we're like done with these. Mm -hmm. Um, And the first one is I was just thinking about this on the way home because I saw one. (laughs) But the names of like diesel trucks. The the engines. Yeah. The engines. Yeah. I think it's kind of funny. It's like. Do you like Cummins or Power Stroke? <laughs> <laughs> Depends okay. what time it is. Yeah. Okay. Second one. <laughs> second uh, five second take. Mm-hmm. Do you remember Ronald Bears? Yes. Mm-hmm. The sweet rims that like are look looks, like teddy bears essentially. Yeah, they're bears. Mm-hmm. Um, so Garrett saw a picture. I mean, not saw a I picture. Saw, yeah, I he saw, saw them. them. Yeah, yes, a week ago. Yeah. So it's like a Miata, right? Yeah. So here's a screenshot that he yeah. sent us. Although these are not the originals, I, as oh. I came to find. Oh, they're later. not. They're knockoff. I think like, the original is like a very like you know mystical piece of. Oh, is it? They made it like for a month and yeah. Well, I mean, it was probably made in the nineties oh. or. I assume the nineties mm. and I don't think they're obviously it wasn't a real hot. Yeah. yeah they're not seller, like full production, but, a bit, but it kind of became, I think it became kind of like a meme. Like right. After yeah. The fact. Yeah. Like now someone like reproduces like a similar. Oh, like I wonder if thing. the original ones are like actually high quality. Uh, I wouldn't, they're like forged. I, I, think, I don't know if they're forged, but Ronal is like a, it's that's a decent a company. Yeah. That's not the, for, that is, well, that's kind of a whole nother bag of worms, but just like the sheer amount of wheel companies out there right now. Yeah. Is pumping like, these things it's out. It's just wild. Stamping out the bears. <laughs> <laughs> Many other wheels. Although I, that makes me wonder if there actually are... There are many rim companies. I suspect there are few manufacturers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just you can like, like... private label all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get your bears made right. for whatever. Yeah. Damn, that was more like a 20 set. I know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's cool, although, you know, the fact that you can just go buy a set on eBay... Yeah, kind of dilutes dilutes the the uh, the mystery yeah. around. I think bit. they're still cool. That's kind of mm-hmm. like a hipster. It's a yeah, it's a pretty bold statement because normally that's something you would do with like a sticker. Yeah, yeah. and that's a, that's a fucking. But to wheel. commit wheels to <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. yeah, yeah, they're still there. Yeah, they're still cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the last one. Um, we like. I don't know how many podcasts ago previously <laughs> I was working on my car and doing maintenance stuff. And I had said how, when you like pull a maintenance item out, you're always like hoping it'll be like gross. Gross. Yeah. Or like mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're like, like, Oh, that was like, thank God I did that. That yes. was worth it. That yeah. was going to leave me stranded. And so my friend, Anna, what's up, Anna, who does not watch this. Part, <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Anna? Tell her I said this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um she so first of all she has a 2011 subaru outback Ooh, ninety thousand miles on it subi squad yeah and the head gasket just went out that's very that's very common thing is it on that model i thought it was it's probably ej25 i don't know what it is yeah and so yes it's very common. but it was just like she like her parents bought it new yeah it's just like embarrassing (laughs) ninety thousand miles Mm -hmm. head gasket and so she just... Um, yeah, I think that's almost like a trope with Subarus. And it is. That's gaskets. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And so she just uh, she just got it fixed at the dealer. And there's two and of they, them, right? Yeah, they have to yeah, be two. Yeah, yeah. Yes. There's, yes. Yes. there's two. There's no yeah. way to tell yeah. <laughs> like which one. <laughs> you can leave the other one on. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine on like a V8. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Whatever. Anyways. Mm-hmm. So like that was bad enough. I'm sure she paid like three grand yeah. with a bunch of Goodwill mm-hmm. money. And like still had to pay that much. Anyway, she had brought her car over before it was like certain that it was the head gasket because <laughs> yeah. it was just overheating on like a 600 mile trip yeah. or something like it was kind of, it was a very small leak. And so I was like, bring it by and like, I'll look at it. And so we're like, we're poking around in the engine bay. Um, and I was like, oh, let me just check your uh, air filter. And I pull this air filter out and there's like bees yeah. on a, <laughs> like a whole like, nest of it's like, animals it's like it's like it's gross yeah it was like oh my god she's like don't <laughs> make fun of don't me you. and so like i pull this air filter out i was like oh dude that's gross like that's bad <laughs> and so i was uh, i was like i'll order you a new air filter mm. and then she also needed a new radiator cap mm. and they had replaced it at some shop she went to at some like 
a shitty one yeah and it was like already leaking <laughs> so i was like i'll just buy you a like, subaru one yeah from like an online dealership and a new air filter and so i'm i buy the air filter and i buy the cap and i was like you know what let me also get her a new cabin air filter because mm-hmm. like probably also has bees yes. Yes. like who yeah. knows you right. know it's like i would have expected the car to be maintained it's ninety thousand miles so she comes back like a week later and i do the air filter we do the radiator cap and then i pull this cabin air filter out and here it is. These guys have not seen this yet. So we're all going to experience it real time. I'm guessing it's just going to be like shredded. <laughs> all right. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you freaking like raked up a bunch of leaves and then poured the leaves on it. <laughs> and then they dropped it into a spider web. Yeah. It was like, yeah, it looks like someone was eating a plate of leaves. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then crunched them all into it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, change those. But it was like. <laughs> it turns I, out it was not. You did that. You not fix her problem, though. Uh, no, that yeah. had nothing to do with the head gasket. But yeah. like, I've never changed a maintenance thing that was that, that gross. You're like, thank God. Yeah, mm-hmm. It was that bad. Yeah, when I first moved into this house... Um, I don't think that's really a common thing people do. The cabin yeah. one? I no. know, I think... Because yeah. a lot of cars used to not I, I, have... I don't them. think I've ever done it. But then I, I haven't really you don't really keep cars that long. Especially a new yeah. car long enough. To. Yeah, it's like, it's, a, it's like a very little known thing. You have mm-hmm. to like pull the glove box mm-hmm. out yeah. and yeah. pull it out. Yeah. And... I don't know. I think it's worth doing. Yeah. I mean, it like it makes your AC more effective. Right. You're not breathing in bees. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of filters, when I first moved into this house, um, I like wanted to change the filters for the AC unit just because yeah. like that, you know, like how coin likes to when he buys a new car goes through a little yeah, system right. all your and it's like the AC filter in a house is like one of those things that's usually neglected yep. pretty bad. And yeah. so I, you know, go up to the ceiling and pull one out and it's just like, like it's probably it was like a half inch thick yeah because they had two dogs i think the previous yeah. owners and it's just a half inch thick of like dust and pet it's hair it's like doubled in size yeah it's like so great like you can like dig your way through it down yeah. the screen and i was like holy if that was one of those things where it's like yes i want to change this yeah yeah, yeah. yeah air filters it especially me to do that when like, I get home. yeah <laughs> yeah when you're breathing right the old tenants yeah skin yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine breathing my own skin, but not yeah. other people's skin. Yeah, that's me. That's fine. Dog poop and skin. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have another quick one. It's not on the list, but um, mm. it's just a, a show I started watching. It's on Apple TV Plus. It's Long Way Up. I don't know if you're familiar with it. No, it's, so it's you and McGregor and his like best friend. Oh yeah. They've yeah, done, yeah, they've yeah. done two of them. Down bef- yeah. They the done. Yeah. One. They did long way round. It was the first one where they like rode their motorcycles right, right. around the whole world. I mean, obviously they took boats or airplanes yeah, yeah. in between the oceans, but, and then the other one was long Hopefully way down. They at least rode their motorcycles on the boats. I think so. Yeah. On, on the ferry or something. Yeah. Circles. And then, but this one, it's the new one um, on Apple TV plus where they're starting in like the very tip of South America and riding all the way to Los Angeles. Whoa. And cool. they're doing oh, it like Patagonia or something like Argentina, like, Chile, oh, okay, and sure. like, I don't know, whatever. And then all through, yeah, the, you know, Central America, Nicaragua and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I literally just watched the first episode, but they're doing it on electric bites too, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Um, so interesting. Harley Davidson actually built them like two prototype sure. electric bikes. Like they were Harley Davidson. I don't know when this was filmed, probably obviously before the pandemic maybe like you know throughout the course of like 2019 but um harley davidson was developing an e-bike and so they like had a concept of it already but obviously they're going over like crazy terrain all sorts of it so they like modified their prototype into a different prototype that can do all the you know different terrains and stuff like that and then also rivian which i know you love um they you know built two of their trucks for the camera crew to ride in oh wow so it's gonna be like an all-electric trip and so i don't like i said only watched the first episode which is them trying to prepare and do all the logistics of how the hell they're gonna do this with all the charging stations and stuff like that yeah yeah i mean if you like ewan mcgregor then yes it's entertaining but you win yeah um yeah check it out if you're interested cool yep uh what was i gonna say oh yeah harley davidson Mm -hmm. like i don't really follow motorcycles but that strikes me as a company that like is probably not doing well 
No, I don't think they is are. Is that true? Are they not? I don't know. It I mean, seemed they, like they something sh- where they like didn't update their company. I don't. All. I mean, if they're still a well-known. They're trying to brand. They're, the brand is definitely valuable. Yeah, but. I don't know how many new bikes people are buying. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to do with e-bikes. Yeah, because, like that just like for a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a scooter or something. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it makes a lot of sense. But, like the whole point of a motorcycle is like the attitude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> the dude. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the dude. So, I don't know. Good for them. Well, when they were test riding the bikes, like um, both Ewan and his best friend were saying, like it, it was a crazy experience. Not only because it's instant torque on a motorcycle, and but they were just saying because there's like zero vibration, you get just get to feel the whole yeah. road. You're just like so like the flying. riding, yeah, the riding experience. They said is way different because instead of sitting on a vibrating engine, you're just feeling all yeah. the road beneath you. Magic and stuff like carpet. That. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Cool. All right, Sweet. I'll check it out. You've been like two for two on mm-hmm. recommendos. Yeah. It's so. a, a few things. Hey, I rarely like to recommend something just because mm. everyone's taster. To it. Anytime I recommend something to Garrett, he always hates it usually. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no. Video okay. game wise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Why don't you start this one off? All right. So this is a top. I, we, we may have touched on this in the past, like uh, a year ago or only more. Tangentially, I think. But we've we've chatted a lot about it in our in our group text. Mm-hmm. Um, so I consider myself like pretty open minded, like very open minded, mm-hmm. I guess, about sexually, kind of yeah, well, about, <laughs> about all things, mostly, but especially about <laughs> mostly with his sexual identity uh-huh. and preferences. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, regarding car stuff, like even if I'm not into something i can usually understand it i'm like okay i can see why someone would be into that mm-hmm. like i don't i don't really have any desire to own a low rider but i can see the mm. appeal appeal and i can appreciate it mm-hmm. but there are every once in a while there's something that i just do not get mm-hmm. and even like say even stance which is pretty dumb yes mm-hmm. and so you can get like okay sometimes like that can look pretty cool mm-hmm. but the thing that we're seen a lot recently specifically related to uh a little place called Bring a Trailer mm-hmm. yeah. that we've referenced. A name a few which times we have previously sworn off, but is, are <laughs> but we temporarily back, bringing back. Is the there's this crazy like phenomenon around Toyota pickups and SUVs mm-hmm. that and not not even they're not even that old. That which is probably the biggest thing that confuses me. Mm-hmm. These aren't like 70s and 80s classic. Mm-hmm. pickups but like coin sends them to us all the time because he's he's pretty he's pretty yeah. he's while, in the know he's pretty, yeah. he's, he's pretty wired into the market into the every Yoda. once in a while i i used to check bring a trailer often and i noticed that my emotional state was negatively impacted <laughs> uh, yeah. by that a lot of toxins in your body it's just not good yeah it was not good and so now i will like cruise it like once or twice a month mm-hmm. and that's fine yeah because you can kind of dip in and like check out whatever get pissed but if you <laughs> yeah. watch it at all yeah it's not good it's a fine you, yeah, place you, to if, visit if you but keep if you your live, finger on the pulse yeah, yeah if you live there you will get angry oh what oh, oh I, I, I thought you were gonna start talking about <laughs> no. <laughs> well you go and then i'll okay. tell you why you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> so so coin has been sending a lot lately well, because Corn has a forerunner, a '99 mm-hmm. forerunner. I do. And uh, there's one of the trucks you're referring to. There's, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, like the the forerunner, I guess the Tacoma, and even the Tundra mm-hmm. have all appeared. And these are like not showroom. Well, I guess they're like they're they're not like yeah. They're, it's not like someone parked this thing. Yeah, they're not immaculate. You know, they, yeah, it's not like it was just yeah. sitting for. They have been. They, they were daily the driven yeah. at some point. I mean, they're they're in very good shape. They have low miles. Sometimes. And they're all stock. Yep. And they're selling for a fuck ton of money. Yeah. Quite a bit of money. Which uh, we can probably find some examples to show. Sure. Um, they're, but they're selling it close to MSRP. MSRP. And they're like Not three years adjusted old. Adjusted for inflation, but right. like original yeah. MSRP. Yes, sir. And they're not they're not like time capsule. Yeah. Like, you know, no one's ever sat in this. Yeah. The thing about a tr- uh, those vehicles is they just 
there is not one on the planet, maybe outside of Toyota's museum, that anyone bought to, to do that to with. keep special. Yeah. Right. Whereas, like, there are cars because where they're it's not like, special. Yeah, <laughs> there are cars where it's like a Cobra with like nine hundred miles, right. and you're kind of like laughing at him. But right. it's like, yeah, people do that. Right. Where these are not that vehicle. No. And so they're the best examples, given that caveat right, of right, like right. they're not stored. Mm-hmm. They're like accidentally used low. Yeah, like my, someone like bought it and like grandpa took it to it. Home Depot. Uh, yeah, once a week like you just happen to find an owner who didn't right really right use it. so yeah the, but these they're going for this what to me seems insane mm-hmm. the prices i mean they're not they're not like 75 80 grand but like the price that they're paying for what they're getting crazy. seems crazy to me and i cannot no matter how deep i dig into my like well i can see why yeah i, I do not i do not find the like oh okay now deep i get into it. your I, I do not find that no matter where I, here's where what, I, all right here's here's one thing i'll say is do you do you remember the text like two years ago or mm-hmm. something where i mean they've all they've always been overpriced mm-hmm. like toyota trucks but where i was like any toyota truck from the late 90s is going to be mm-hmm. investment worthy <laughs> 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 which sounds like some a dumbass yeah. do you, you know remember me saying that i think i do um uh, and it's like I mean, that wasn't that far fetched because, mm-hmm. like, they're already. Well, it started with Tacomas. Tacomas no. have always been kind of hot ever well, since, I mean, like, the Back to the Future. Well, well, well I mean, even one, even like a know? brand new one holds its value sure. really fucking well. But it's like 90s Tacoma trucks and stuff. It's like, the, like, kind of bro image has right, always right, sort right. of been there. Yeah. And just recently, it's just sort of like exploded into all the other ones. Right. Where, like, they've been, they've had a cult following, if you could call a Toyota truck following a cult mm-hmm. but now it's like they're they're blowing up well, but, but, but I th- what i think what i don't get is like so much of the cult is involved with like rock crawling and like a bunch of shit like that because aside from that they're just dependable yeah but that is not like here's the thing that's i think a- i can break it down for you <laughs> As the owner of two, yeah, <laughs> two <laughs> toyota these, products yeah. these exact things that are skyrocketing in value <laughs> um in when those came out like forerunners I'm most familiar with because mm-hmm. I did a bunch of research before I bought mine. Right. Um, which I'm actually now selling to my friend, mm-hmm. which is sad because I love that. Truck. I put it on, bring a trailer and get top fucking. I know I was tempted to put it on, bring a trailer, but I would rather not put a friend through. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like buying a house. Once you own a house, you're like, yeah, drive those values up. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, Hell yeah. And then when you're, when you're on the outside, you're like, what? <laughs> like, this is <laughs> annoying. And so my friend wanted to get into something. And he was, I was like, God, I know how annoying it is to try to buy a Toyota truck. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving it to him at a steal, but right. it is like a very cut number, fair cut number break, yeah. price. Yeah. And so it's like, here, you can have mine. Mm-hmm. Say you're not going to find one this clean. Anyways, the first two generations of Forerunner were like they were fine. Well, and, I, I can say that the thing is, I sort of I get the '80s ones, yeah, because they those things have like a very kind of old looking. Those and those were my cousin had one. He was into rock. He still is into rock crawling, mm-hmm. and he bought his. And God, I mean, at this point, it must have been 10 years ago Mm -hmm. and it was like an 88. Yeah. And it's like whatever the one year is where it's like solid front axle and fuel injected. Right. Forerunner. And there's like one of them. But it's all like that, like super boxy. Yeah. It's it's the. But like the flare fenders and stuff. I want to say it's the second generation at that point. And aren't they two? No, they're not two door. They're four door. Uh, They're. I think the first gen is only two door. I'm not positive, but whatever. The first two were like trucks. Right. It was kind of novel. It was like with a camper shell. it's like SUV, yeah but it's like one of those if you see one driving that's nice you're like okay that's it kind of cool. stands out right. as an it, old vehicle. like it's like a vintage yeah, yeah. the third generation one it kind of looks like yours but it's not mine is third generation oh no, oh, no i'm, I'm talking second yeah gen. all the for all three of the first generations look like all just like japanese cars kind of did this where if you lined them up you'd be like i get the evolution right yeah, yeah. they just sort of like took it smoothed it out a bit. Yeah. smoothed it out and made they, it slightly they, larger maybe? yeah it's like funny because like they didn't even really the only customer feedback they took was like one and a half more inches of rear leg room <laughs> and like cup holders but they all feel very japanese right you know it wasn't until like the 2000s where it was like Ugh, this is like mm-hmm. now these are like 
It's a big boy. Yeah. These are very American. Yeah, very feeling. American. Yeah. yeah. Where like all the 90s stuff, like all the Hondas we love, it's right. like, they feel very Japanese. Yeah. And as you move through the years, they all drive very similar, but they just got better. Right. They, the things they fixed were like reliability. Mm. The engines were slight evolutions of each other, whereas like 26 more horsepower mm. and like a little bit wasn't drastically different. Um, and so the third generation of Toyota stuff is the one that is blowing up right now. Mm. And this is my this is my assumption as to why that is happening is because by that generation, that is as old or as recent as you can get before they started becoming kind of Americanized. Right. And so they still feel and drive and are very small small well yeah. very like japanese they, yeah. they all feel the same right. i yeah. mean honestly the foreigner hasn't changed the brand new one fucking drives the same the new one is like pathetically outdated mm-hmm. although the, i don't think the tacoma i don't think was ever sold in japan the tacoma but they just they just feels like a more modern it's like, product but it's like they were trying to make it for americans but they were still using their their old their playbook. processes right. yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. yeah but like a brand new tacoma feels more modern than a brand new forerunner the forerunner right. just feels old well, and they're is. still selling well, well literally it literally is old. i mean it li- yeah. <laughs> it literally is old but um you the thing about the ones in the 90s is they were it's kind of like mark four supra where mm-hmm. it's like they were trying so hard mm-hmm. kind of world stage thing and so you get this product that is no sacrifices in reliability or um like capability really mm-hmm. compared to a new one but you get to look like um you are into cars <laughs> it'd be like it's like a 911 air cooled car yeah if there was a model where it was like these things are bulletproof like there's never you don't have to worry 9, about air cold 911s are expensive and they're like finicky oil oil yeah. leaking yeah. you know it's like you there is literally no you don't have to know shit about working on a car to drive an old right. a truck mm-hmm. yeah. it's not an it's not an e30 m3 mm-hmm. yeah where it's like if you want to get into it you gotta stay on top of it like go ahead but you're buying an old german car right. it's like there's none of that with the toyota trucks and so i think what people are doing it's like you can drive a new one and blend in mm-hmm. or you can look like you've you're vintage but yeah. I, I guess i would vintage say without any I, yeah i guess i would say my counterpoint to that is those things don't look cool well and they're I not think and, like, to I, some people it, they do I, but i mean it's it's, like, it seems like a fucking like I, i've never like batted an eye at like a 98 tacoma yeah. going, but, whoa, <laughs> cool <laughs> you're in your neck well, well, the, they, were, they only made the 600,000 of those is they're so reliable you i literally see four or five mm. of them a day <laughs> that's yeah. an idea. they're all over the place that's they're not nice yeah sure but like they're still on the road but i think that's what's doing it is that it's like if you want to get into whatever even though yeah. you know these people probably aren't buying cream puff forerunners to go like yeah. wheeling in them and i guess that's that's my other thing is like i feel like a sports car even if you beat on it like it's kind of like it was kind of meant to be preserved yeah and you like, get to enjoy it without totally beating on yeah it. like i mean like an ideal scenario for a sports car is like yeah, an old guy owned this, and he took it out on Sundays and like kept it in his garage. But like, yeah, it's like a, a tru- dentist. But it's like a truck. It, to me, I don't. I've never seen like that as a desirable trait of a truck. Is what it that, wasn't used. That like, yeah, like the, you know, this, this is a very, this is a pristine example that like but you want something that wasn't beat on. I guess. But then what? Then what are you going to do? And with what are you going to do? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I would never say like, that much. I'm just saying like, these are all the questions that I keep yeah. digging in. I'm like, I don't really, I'm not really seeing the answer. Here. Yeah. I would not. I love the forerunner. Mm-hmm. I don't, it's it for what it is. It's great. I love it the same way. I loved my civic. It's mm-hmm. like, wow, what a great designed right. product, but it's not more than what it is. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. It's like, this is the fastest. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like, it's a civic. Right. But I love the fact that, I did zero maintenance on it for a hundred thousand miles and sold it for like two grand less than I bought it. But it it could also be argued that that doesn't really have any bearing on like an enthusiast perspective. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just just saying it's a good truck. Right. And there's a lot, there's, there's no downsides to it. And if people are starting to think there's a cool factor, Uh that's the value. If you can look cool doing something Mm -hmm. And it is no tax on you. Mm. It's not like, 
Like these pants yeah, are awesome. They're, really but they're leather. Yeah. yeah. They <laughs> smell really bad. It's like, do you want to live the leather lifestyle? Right. It'd be like a, a motorcycle. Like, mm-hmm. are motorcycles cool? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do any do of us want to <laughs> daily ride drive around? a Harley? Like, yeah. no, I don't well, want to. I kind of do. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to put in the work. Right. Yeah. It's like, there is no work with this thing. There's no work. It's as reliable as a Camry. Yeah. I guess I just don't, I don't, just don't really see the coolness. Yeah. You don't think it's cool. I mean, like, I, if I see like one that's like modded, like nice, yeah. like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. I know. But I that, mean, but that also goes against everything that I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying <laughs> it's like they are, they are, um, they're just now becoming like old enough to, to cool. like start tickling the like, uh, classic, mm-hmm. whatever early classic. And I, I well, <laughs> one, another, another thing I don't understand is there are cars that like when I was a kid, like I knew this was a cool car mm-hmm. and it's like, and then they kind of went through the time like, oh, these are kind of old and lame. Mm-hmm. And then you don't really, and then like, you, and then they get old enough for like, oh, there's a clean mm-hmm. like 90 Z28. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But like those, like I don't, there was, there were so many of them. Like even when they were new, I was never like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Brand I, new I, yeah. yeah. I definitely liked the way they looked. I remember being in sixth grade and somebody had, someone's parents had one. I remember thinking like, cool. It was never like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I mean, they're fine. They're fine. Well, then again, I mean, Marty, Mar- Marty McFly was pretty inspired. Yeah. yeah. It's like they did a good, it's a good product. Mm. It's a good product. I just think it's the fact that it's like, well, you can buy a new one or you can buy an old one. And unless you are really using it, like a new one is going to be more capable, right. but not like 300%. Right. But it's, it's also it, a it, brand new car that you do not have to think about at it, all. Yeah. But I, they're, I mean, they really are that reliable. But you, but, how, but you, but you put what? How many? How much money did you put into your Forerunner? Like, uh, making I, it? so first of all, I did a bunch of shit it didn't need. Right. But you, I, but, did, but I mean, you ideally you wanted to make it like that bring yeah. a trailer level. Um, thirty. Well, bring a trailer level is based on like original paint. Oh, all that I mean, that's a bunch of shit. That right. But if I, well. I mean, it's a perfect example because I didn't want to think about reliability. Right. And it was 3500 bucks. Yeah. To bulletproof it for, who knows? Who, who knows? At least 100000 Yeah, miles. but I just mean like, you can just go get one at the dealer and like not even think about it. Although yeah, I guess it's 40 grand. Yeah, but, I, mean, I mean, still, but it's a fucking, I don't know. I guess. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, the, but, but the people that are buying these aren't, you don't, you don't buy a truck like that because you're a penny. Puncher. I don't know what they're buying them for. Cause <laughs> we'll I have to, felt we'll have like, to, we'll have to interview some. <laughs> I paid 9,000 for mine. Right. And I felt like that was at the upper limit of what I felt comfortable paying. Right. Yeah. But even at the time I knew that was a good deal mm-hmm. because these things are like they're, overpriced. They're going to go up. Yeah. Yeah. And I am selling it now with, I put 30,000 miles on it. Mm. And I'm selling it to my friend for ten thousand. Yeah. And there's part of me that's like, fuck, this is such a good deal. Yeah. Right, that you're getting. Cause yeah. like I'm sure I could put it on bring a trailer. It's just, it's rare. There's people who think it is cool. And that most of them, most of them are beat to shit. Mm-hmm. Because as you said, it's not right. a special mm-hmm. car. And so it's like, shit, none of these are nice. And then when there is a nice one, it's like, yeah, they want it. I'm not, I would never pay that much. I struggle. Well, I mean, there has nine. to be some coolness associated with it. Cause otherwise people would be paying a shitload. They're cool. like a 99 they are Corolla. Cool vehicles. Yeah. What other truck from the mid nineties is not like, we can go sit in that thing and we're not embarrassed by the build quality. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's nineties top of the game. Japanese. That's fine. Get in like a nineties Silverado. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's still going to be running. It feels like it's from the seventies. Yeah. It's yeah. like, what is this shit? Like this isn't, you know, I don't know. I see it. I mean, I get it. Mm. I would not pay those prices. Mm. I would gladly sell into that market. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm not. I'm. I, I'm not like flabbergasted by it. Mm. I mean, I kind of am. <laughs> it's it's people with money buying these things. Yeah. It's, it's not. I don't think. Well, I that's what I mean. That, that that's when I go like, why don't you just get a fucking new truck if you have? If because you have money. that's not cool. That's <laughs> I, not, I, I personally think a a brand new Tacoma is cooler than. a 99 Tacoma. Myself. I don't think there's anyone like reaching to buy a $30,000, 30,000 mile 99 <laughs> forerunner. Uh-huh. It's the guys who like ha- could easily buy a new one, right? but they, they think, but it's they good. want like their friends are going to think this is yeah. cool. I mean, you do it to show off to your friends. It's their mm-hmm. friend. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's friends. As long as I'm not. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's, 
if somebody drove that over to me and mm-hmm. it was a 30,000 mile mm-hmm. forerunner and they said I paid 30 grand, it'd be like, I hope okay. you like this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, if sure. that's your dream car. As long as you're happy, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just my well, perspective. I guess, well, I guess that, like, in a way, that sort of gets down to like, isn't that one of like the lamest reasons to buy a car? What? Pure to like reason. hope that your friends like think well, you're cool. Well, that's the only reason 911, any yeah, of that Yeah, but, I mean, but at least that's a cool car. Like, I guess. I don't know. But if you if you have to like open a book and like explain why this car is cool, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I agree. Mm-hmm. You you function will only get you so far, value wise, mm-hmm. money you're willing to spend, and beyond that, it is the story, the emotion, the yeah. story it allows you to tell, right. and the story an old truck lets you tell is like I. <laughs> Salt to the earth. <laughs> I mean, paying thirty grand for it kind of kills that story. Well, but no well, one what I mean, like, paid. but I mean, having one with like four hundred thousand miles, that's all fucking rusty, is a sweet story. Yeah, and there that five years ago, that yeah. was the cool story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just the same thing with Dotson. It's yeah. like, why aren't those worth more mm-hmm. ten years ago? It's because now there's a story, and like, I don't know, it's the bring a trailer effect. Mm. Brain trailer has just <laughs> ruined, ruined a certain section of car culture mm-hmm. and has just put it on steroids. Um, yeah, I think it's we were talking about this the other day how it's kind of elevated. Like, but in the past, you would kind of associate the like collector car world with like Alfa Romeos and yeah. whatever, like shit you'd find at Monterey Car Week. Yeah, there's like yeah. a small group of nerds. Yeah, but now it's like. Civics and Integra, anything, uh-huh. yeah. yeah, like Toyota truck, anything, anything with, nostalgic, any yeah. kind of value. Yeah, you know? we'll like we'll, we'll like blow it up. Yeah, I think it was waiting to happen though. Yeah, I think it's a combination of Instagram and the ability to show off. Now your friend group is anyone, mm-hmm. you know, and and, like, and to buy cars in this kind of weird like public stage. Yeah, and what else are you gonna do right now? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that is so. This, that that's a good segue into the selling of the Fieri, <laughs> yes. which was on Doug Demuro's site. Mm-hmm. Which, frankly, at least at least at this point, his site is like what you would wish Bring a Trailer was. Mm-hmm. It's like he only seems to list cars that, for whatever reason, don't get like stupid value mm-hmm. to them. It's just like great. It's like a solid auction site. Yeah, yeah. And it's like. There's, eBay with a good filter. Yeah, it's like eBay with like a great filter. Where bring a trailer is just like it's become. Well, or you just sent me like an airplane. <laughs> yeah, it's just become it's like, like a cesspool. Who even knows? We were just yeah. like counting down the days till they start selling watches. Yeah, well, I yeah. think watches are next, mm-hmm. and um, I don't know leather bags, <laughs> yeah. or something. leather leather pants, or art. Maybe yeah. like it's just become mm-hmm. this way for people to like funnel money mm-hmm. into. I mean, who knows? It's whatever it is. It's filling some role. Mm -hmm. But so anyways, we list the Fieri for sale and it was a fun auction. Honestly, Mm -hmm. like, you know, it got, I hope it drove a lot of traffic to his site Mm -hmm. because it's new and like, that would be cool to help him. He helped us by listing it. Right. But through the auction, I was in my mind, it's like, if you're going to buy a car like this, why would you possibly bid at any point other than the last minute? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why would you drive up the price? Yeah. Why? Because there is nothing like it, which means there's no way to determine its value mm-hmm. until someone says what they will pay for it. And you can't try again on the next one. And, and so you want to keep it as low as possible until the last minute. So mm-hmm. people have as little time as possible to react to the new right. bid. And so, like, people were bidding on it through the auction. I was just like, that's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. Like, why Why would you do that? And so, in my mind, it was like, this thing's going to have some heat. At the end. At the end. Yeah. There's going to be some action here. And it got to the last minute, and I was like, I was texting, like, you guys, yeah. my brother. And I was like, here we go. <laughs> yeah, boys. I like, strap in. And it just ended. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah, there was no <laughs> last minute bid. It just bids. ended at yeah. the high bid. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And so... um I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I think a lot of people were watching. The comments, mm-hmm. yeah, were going crazy were at the end. Like, yeah. oh. I mean, whatever. A- a- at any rate, we... Got market value for it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it went for a... F- I thought it was going to go higher, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it went for a fair price. 
Um, we, I mean, we probably have like eight grand in it, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. But I don't mind paying a little extra because of all the use we got. Sure. I, I don't cool. feel like we lost money. No. We no. got our money's worth out Absolutely. of that car. And so it's on its way to the new owner, which in the comments on the auction, he said he had a friend with a real Enzo. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was going to like live next yeah. to that thing, yeah. which I can't, <laughs> I can't think of a better like yeah. put out to pasture mm-hmm. <laughs> for that car. But anyways, I'm sure he'll enjoy it when he gets that thing. But it made me think about just like bring a trailer, mm-hmm. how at the end, end of auctions there's just a group of people who apparently just hang out on that site Mm -hmm. (laughs) they're just like their audience they're just the audience and like i don't know why this really bothers me (laughs) but at the end they'll be like here we go folks oh Oh, yeah before it ends yeah Yeah, like two minutes left they're like here comes the bid Uh, and they're not bidding yeah they're just (laughs) just watching people spend money they're just putting money into people's Mm -hmm. pockets (laughs) but i mean the commenters aren't there they've never bought anything right yeah so they're just watching Mm -hmm. and like come on let's get some bids (laughs) yeah it's like it's like some action it's like a spectator sport for Mm -hmm. them yeah um, it's like it's pretty much really, all it's it's the people that probably just used to watch Barrett Jackson all day on I Speed guess, Channel or something. Yes, it's just. But like, now they get to interact with it. They just hang out. They're like, all right, and then at the end, they're like, all right, see y'all later. Yeah. Like <laughs> Go, moving on to the next one. Oh, all, good job. We're all moving over to the CRX next. Yeah, it, it's yeah. just like, oh, like well, come on, I expected it to go higher. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. You shut the well fuck bought up. and well sold. Yeah, yeah, it's like I don't know. I don't know why that really bothers me, but that is Do, part of why I don't look at that. But one of the things that we were arguing about a while back is that I, I i always say like i never really understood the wait to the last second to bid on fucking everything that's for sale yeah. ever see the thing is is if it's just a thing mm-hmm. then like put your bid in right you know the only time i think it's appropriate is when there is nothing like it there's no comp, right there's no comp and, you, and, you, and there's no like other one to like well I'll fall back on it, that it, one exactly yeah. where it's just like this is what i'd pay for this like there. which is weird because like i've i bid on like collectibles and stuff every once in a while on yeah. ebay like model cars and uh-huh. stuff toyota trucks yeah <laughs> mostly pristine toyota trucks yeah. but like so many of them i'll bid on and just like oh it, it ended at the very end someone yeah. outbid me and it sold for like one bid yeah. increment over whatever my maximum was which Sniped. I sniped which but I mean I guess that's how every well they night. probably just put in they're putting a, well, who uh, knows, an yeah, amount right, way more than right, yours who, and so yeah, it just exactly, went up exactly who knows what it sells for but yeah. it's always weird like this person that they're gonna they think they're gonna like get yeah. something out of it by bidding in the last 20 I seconds mean, the, it just it just it means there's less time for other bidders to react yeah, you it's, don't it, have enough time to be like because well, it's maybe like have, I will a, pay. have a second thought. Yeah, maybe well, I will pay. Well, like 20 well, it bucks. goes into like the whole like emotional aspect of any auction, really, where every theoretically everything that's ever sold at auction has gone for one bid more than someone else was going to pay. Yeah, yeah, but at an auction, like it's not going to. There's not a set timer down to when it ends. Like you, you can keep going forever. Whereas yeah. eBay, it's like there's a clock that's ticking that's and once eBay's it hits fault really yeah. for having for once it hits yeah, zero ebay would be like an auctioneer being like yeah okay anyone else anyone else anyone else anyone, anyone else? else i'm yeah. banging the hammer and are then there, someone went like 55 and he begs he's like oh yeah well. yeah, yeah. Like, right, they right. usually go like are there any more bidders? right like, yeah like they let they well there's other auction sites there. i think that you even said like when you someone bids it like resets the clock for like trailer is like oh is it okay yeah it'll add like a minute or something yeah so is Oh. Clicks and bid or cars and bids. Oh, okay, it's yeah, just like then, does anyone else? And then wanna... we we even went to a an in person auction to buy some of this stuff a while back. Yeah. And it was kind of like the same thing. But there's a couple things like okay, I'll like I'll bid on this. I'd buy that. And then like someone else just keeps bidding. Yeah. And like it ends for like whatever. Like when he like asks me like, do you want to go higher? And I'm like no. And then you know it sells for like two dollars. Yeah. Or whatever it is over, but like who knows? That guy might have kept going and going and going and right. going. Yeah, and yeah, going. yeah. yeah. But, it's really but, just which, eBay, which eBay just does that for you. It's I just guess, eBay but. where it's just like it's over now. Right. Yep. If yeah. you manage to sneak your bid in six milliseconds before the which camera, there are bots. Pinged. Like you can set up a bot. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah. I, mean, I yeah. understand. Sort. I, I sort of understand it's it. Pure but eBay. It, yeah, but it's still just like. I'll pay thirty bucks for this, or I won't. Like that. Yeah. Like that's up for the buyer to right. decide. But, but I mean, at those val thirty maybe. I mean, any value if it's like, okay, I'm not gonna pay more than six hundred, mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, 
602 would like, you pay 602 right. you know bad, it's like, like maybe yeah. i wouldn't pay 700 but right. i'd pay 602 right or even 650 yeah because you know, yeah. i've already invested the time to care yeah, yeah. my emotions I'm, I'm emotionally investing yeah mm-hmm. i wish they didn't do it i hate bid sniping yeah and i like that sites well i guess yeah, i guess yeah it makes sense you can't really do that if it's if they if it's fluid yeah if the, the clock time, resets yeah. yeah yeah if there's an auction or, or live right you're gonna be like does anyone else yeah we're done no yeah it's not gonna be like oh i didn't get my bid in yeah and, yeah now the i didn't really think about that part because like i guess even if you're like say you're bidding on a car in person you can like think of oh, do i want to yeah go, and they're always go, like go, they're always go, like go. looking at the yeah guy. they're right, waiting yeah. for you and to, he's like no yeah yeah, yeah. they're waiting you to yeah. physically it was, say it, no. it was kind of yeah. funny on the the thing that we went to there's a couple of these like things i wasn't interested in yeah but, like other people were like these like rare hot wheels mm-hmm. and it was like in person like what which, what's like a rare hot there's wheels. like i mean like it's kind of like baseball cards where sure. like, well, that's like it's like i mean there's some that are like a couple hundred bucks for one what's a good like what specific what do you mean like what is what kind of car yeah oh no like there's there's not really anything specifically about the car it's just like this has a different paint job and like oh, the, the, and i'm made, just curious what one what is a hot wheels that's worth a hundred dollars uh what do you I, I don't really understand the question tell me what exact, what specific <laughs> hot wheels the exact yeah like what is a hot wheels that like a went? certain car no it's not it's not a, it's like a thing called there's like treasure hunt cars and it's like to mo- to 99 percent of people it'll look the same as a regular one but you but can't if, think of any examples of one i mean there's hundreds of them there's it's not like there's one, one. Never mind. like a certain like an r34 with a certain paint job like just well one. yeah what so exact say, or sometimes it's like a convention there'll be like a hot wheels convention okay and they'll like release a certain amount of and it's an exclusive car. to that convention yeah but it's not it's usually not even that car just like this car in this color yes and they only made whatever 300 of them or okay. a thousand of them or i just i have zero reference so i don't even know like so it's what, very it's what, very similar to funko like, pops yeah. then i guess where it's kind of like like baseball car but you can't really say like oh the reason this one is really expensive is because yeah, you could tell me like certain, mark mcguire's rookie car right well that's one. easier well i'm sure there's like some certain like the 1968 red line yeah release, i didn't know blah, if you blah, like had one on the tip no of I, there's not i don't something. know I'm, if i because i don't really collect them like that. Oh, okay you don't know the i mean i just collect the cars that this one had like a mismatched right well so sometimes, so sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, there is some stuff like that. But anyways, so like, there's like a, a group of like a few cars like this, mm-hmm. and you guys tell like one guy was just kind of like doing a proxy bid. What do you mean? Like, like he, he was bidding for someone? No, 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 no proxy. Whatever the word, like is. the person. No, like, no, no, he's there. no. That's not really what. It, but, okay. but like, where he did, where like he just knew what he was going to pay for it. Okay. And oh, like, okay. So like, people were like had this, and the, he he just like kept his thing up, and it's like two fifty, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Like, like he yeah. was clearly going to buy he gets it. Gets to a point, and then it's just like, and when everyone else stops, then he just you know bought it for whatever. Well, he just wanted it, no matter what. I, well, I mean, I, I assume he had a limit, but it was like <laughs> higher than anyone else was going <laughs> to yeah. pay for it. Go away. But it, 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 like it just wasn't even. He just left his thing up, and the guy Damn. like went to anyone else until there was no one left that's pretty sweet but, uh, tactic yeah, yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was pretty sweet it's intimidating imagine if you do that quite a few times you can end up getting stuff for cheaper yeah the second people would just be like oh, he's gonna win yeah, yeah don't right. even don't even try it out <laughs> or you yeah. just waste his money yeah fuck with them yeah, yeah. I, I would say like yeah going to an in-person auction is actually pretty fun yeah yeah, yeah that seems like a fun live mm-hmm. event yeah, it's, good, it's a good way to spend an afternoon that's why i watch bring a trailer mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, why why, that's why that's why i get that cheer on from the peanut We've gallery full circle and agreed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that we should watch Toyota trucks. Mm-hmm. Bid it up, bid it up. Come on, boys. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Well sold. Yeah. This is the one. Um, what well, just one more uh one more thought on that. eBay, I think we've just confirmed that eBay is the worst style of auction site. Mm-hmm. Um, but their feedback system, although I guess it is flawed now that I'm immediately thinking about it, but I like the fact Amazon, I help I help a couple people sell stuff on Amazon. Mm-hmm. And Amazon behind the scenes is like a it's like a dirt market in like <laughs> Shanghai. <laughs> it's so it's such a shanty town. But one thing I really don't like about Amazon is the this feedback system is like pretty broken. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is fake. Yeah. Like on, you know, it'd be like 26,000 reviews on mm-hmm. stuff. And it's like, oh God. But then also it's like someone can review your product and be like, oh, I hated it. It sucks. Or whatever. And you can't really do anything about the review. Mm-hmm. But they still have to buy it, though, technically. Right? No. Oh, really? Not, they don't. Not even if, that. Yeah. if they do buy it, it'll give Save, them an extra. It says verified oh, purchase. Yeah. But they can buy it and return it and still, you know, it's like it's no guarantee. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and so it's like, it's kind of broken, but eBay, I always think is funny because the buyers and sellers could rate each other. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they could be like, oh, he I was wonder a- if, do, do people still do that? I, I'm I mean, not sure. I, mean, I bought a lot of shit on eBay and I haven't like left feedback. I don't leave feedback. I used room. to like back yeah. in like the 2000s. Back when it was cool. It was like, please leave me like an A plus, 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 plus. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. People be like, A plus, plus, plus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Great. Fast shipping. Great yeah. service. Well, well, I always e- thought it was funny when you could just like fire back. Oh, you didn't like that? Well, one star. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to sell it to you anyways. Oh, yeah. Well, he was a jerk. Or something. Well, it's anyway. weird. The, the thing about eBay rating is is instead of like, you know, you can, in Amazon, there's one through five stars. So mm-hmm. there's like multiple choices where eBay, it's just positive, neutral, or negative. Oh, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. correct? Right. At least it was. And so like, yeah, right. the weird thing is, is like now with all the Chinese companies selling shit, like mm-hmm. they, like if you see someone has a negative review on eBay mm-hmm. in the past like six months, like that's a huge red flag really? for people. And so- oh. Like I've had issues where like I bought something and it like either took too long to ship or like they shipped something broken and Mm -hmm. like I leave a negative review and they're like, please change it to like like at least neutral or positive. Like we'll do anything to like make it so you can change it to us. Whereas like if I'm looking at something on Amazon and I see a negative review, like, you know, one negative review, but six positive ones, I'll be like, well, that's just person was just a little yeah. bitch and he gets complaining. Yeah, I usually read the negative reviews, but the problem that I guess with that is like just anyone can, you kind of have to like actually read. Yeah. The shipping was slow. Or right. it's like, okay, that's, that's not their fault. Yeah, I don't know. Feedback, I, I haven't, I haven't really seen a site that, um, does it well. Does I feel like the whole thing of all these perfect. companies selling on eBay is more like a recent thing. I mean, pretty, I mean, not, not yeah. recent, like a year, but like, Back when I used to buy shit on eBay, like back in the, it was like almost only like, yeah, like, people. So yeah, eBay was shit. great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hidden gems. Now it's just something. now it's just like another storefront. Yeah. Now yeah. Now a lot although of people. All, are although all the, selling, all the stuff I buy on is more just like the traditional right sure. used like, items. Yeah. Yeah. eBay, Craigslist, Amazon's got to change something. Mm-hmm. Amazon has just been flooded with shit. Well, there's this kind of there's this kind of thing that just it seems like everything follows. I guess it's just how it works. Is like every app or website or service like starts out as cool. Yeah. And that's just like, okay, now the ads are here. Then the public finds it. And then well, the ads start. Yeah. 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 And, and they sell social it media. It. Yeah. This is a neat new, like even like the, like the next door app. Thing. Like I remember I, I first started using that like yeah. six years ago. That's actually and it was like a cool way to say it. Was just stuff. like, it was just like, here's a bulletin board for your neighborhood. And yeah. now it's just like, Add, 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 like right. bulletin board. Add, add, add. Like I saw a suspicious person. Add, add, add. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just, like that's just kind of like the path that everything cool. follows. Yeah. yeah. Something's got to change with yeah. monetization. Mm-hmm. Ads. Yeah. Terrible. Another thing I hate about eBay is just all the scalpers that they, like eBay is the platform for scalping. Yeah. yeah. Like especially with the recent like PS5 and the new NVIDIA, like, you know, mm-hmm. RTX cards oh, were like RTX. literally oh, the RTX 3080. I think it's sold out. Because it like only went on sale on Nvidia's site. Is that they, is that the high one? The no, one? that's the middle one. Oh. The high one doesn't go on sale for like another month, I think, Damn. or something. But it's hot. But yeah, and so it sold out. I think card. within like two seconds. Yeah. Like all the bot scalpers, like literally just and anyone who it. got one is just reselling it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so like, wasn't there someone? There was like a run on those things because of like Bitcoin or something. Oh, that's a, oh, that, that was real? that was years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. you would mine. You needed a powerful graphics <laughs> yeah. card. I, to I don't mine pretend points. to know how that works. Yeah, I don't know but, either. But, but I've heard it. But there yeah. was a big run on graphics card. To yeah, mine yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, that's kind of died off. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, like, and then obviously, you know, five minutes after they sold out, they're popping up on eBay yeah, for, for like two x. Yeah, three something. times. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like scalping, man. That's annoying. Yeah. Especially when you don't have to leave your chair to do it. <laughs> exactly. Someone has to go like buy tickets somewhere. Or like wait and like outside s- Best Buy yeah, for or, or 12 like hours. stand out in front of the basketball oh, game yeah. physically holding yeah. them. Yeah. It's like, that's still slimy, but at least you're like leaving your house. Yeah. Right, yeah. You're putting in the time. Like, yeah, yeah, some bot that like snipes Best Buy's site. Then immediately puts it on. Uh-huh. Lists it on eBay while the guy's asleep. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Yeah. Uh, what are we at time wise? A uh, f- little over 50 minutes. All right. Let's talk about the Z mm-hmm. because it's mm-hmm. hot and relevant. Mm-hmm. We'll, uh, we'll end on that. Mm-hmm. The so, brand new Nissan 400Z. I mean. Is it called 400? I don't I, think they've I don't know. I, I've seen yet, a lot right? of people call it 400Z. I think they're just but like I guessing. But I have not actually seen any official from Nissan. name. Is that? I could be wrong. but So as of yeah. now, it's called the Nissan Z. Mm-hmm. And frankly, the Nissan Z Proto. Oh, is it? 
Just the, the prototype. prototype? Did they call it Proto? For some reason, because they're in Japan, they just call it the Proto. Because okay. it was GTR Proto for a yeah. while. Well, yeah. starts Do you remember before the, they should have just called it Pro. Mm-hmm. Do you remember <laughs> before the uh, Skyline came out? The how long they were teasing that thing? Oh, the, the R35? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like, two, they, it pretty much like, they debuted that concept like right when the R34. Yeah, ended, it was like they? a while. Yeah, it was like 2001 or yeah, two. It was like, it was GTR like, Proto. <laughs> like, it's coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could drive that in like Gran Turismo 3. Yeah, the prototype. <laughs> and it looked like way cooler. Yeah, it was still like the same kind of shape. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was like uh, the prototype was cool. I mean, that yeah. car was fine, mm-hmm. but um, it's a long they thing. teased that thing. So we'll see. Hopefully Z Proto. <laughs> As like, but I don't know. I mean, judging by the picture, it kind of just looks like they. Sort of I was. Like I, I wouldn't say. I, I was the, pretty disappointed. Not disappointed. I guess I wasn't disappointed because I didn't expect that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you watch like the live reveal, right? Yes, that can sometimes heighten expectations. Mm, well, not in my. Not in, my case. <laughs> not in this case. <laughs> I mean, the the all that car has done is just kind of em- emphasized to me like how in a rough spot Nissan is really like as a company. Why? Because that entire car feels like it should have come out six oh. years ago. <laughs> yeah. It should be like the 2014. Exactly. Like, literally, that, that is not an exaggeration. Like yeah. in 2014, the 370Z had been out for like six years yeah. and it was, you know, kind of aging. Yeah, it was, it was like, like ready. Like now that was the time to like give it some more power and like update the, the look. Yeah. yeah. Not waiting until the next fucking decade. <laughs> yeah. They, if they had done that, because I like the car. I mean, the, Z, the proto. Y- yeah, I mean, no, I, there's there's nothing wrong with it. It looks cool. You're you're looking at it from a like wider, more contextualized. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> you're factoring in the more nuance. Uh, yeah, the the company that is producing it mm-hmm. and the atmosphere in which it is produced into. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought. Well, here's the thing. Leading up to it, I was like, all right, there's two ways they can go with this. Mm-hmm. You the spectrum is FRS to Supra. Well, I, new Supra. I personally, my, my expectation wasn't as much that it was just like, is this going to be like a whole new fucking car? Is this like a new yeah, era sure. for the Z? I mean, and I, like it became very apparent that it was not. It sounds like yeah. you had some expectations. <laughs> well, well, I did, but I knew not yeah. to, that I knew that they, well, I just mean them. on a high level, it was like, it's either going to be this cheap, right. Kind of simple, NA sports right. car. Right. Or like 240Z. Right. Or it's going to be this like clearly aimed at higher performance, higher power. Right. Higher price range. Higher, maybe higher price and range. Either, and, either, and either one of those would have been a pretty big departure from what it is. And was. Yeah. I was hoping that they would go in the direction that they did go. Because I was. Which I is mean, like nothing. No, they went for more power. It's twin turbo V6, right? I mean, it's I mean, like it's like 60 more horsepower. Than yeah, it. but that motor, the thing about the FRS, as soon as it came out, mm. like minutes after it came out, mm. people were like, turbo it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, why isn't it turbo? And they're like, no, the soul of driving and the excitement. <laughs> you know, they're harping on all this stuff. And people mm. are just like, ah, turbo it. Mm. <laughs> they're fucking fake rendering a mm. STI version since it dropped. <laughs> and so I was like, if they do that with the Z, it, they're dead out of the gate because they need to put a motor in this thing that you can like tighten a screw and get another hundred horsepower right. because that is just the atmosphere of right now. It's light, nimble, tossable. First of all, Nissan just isn't good enough to no. make a car <laughs> no. as good as the FRS is. That's why that's why I, I personally think that the second gen eight six that's supposedly coming out pretty soon could be like could be like will be like a cooler car than it, the new it, Yeah, totally. The first one was good. If they take just, if they if they like genuinely improve on yeah. the stuff people don't like about sure. it. I think the FRS has more room to breathe now that the Supra exists. Mm-hmm. I mean, however you feel about the Supra, if you want more power, there's that That's option. Get, yeah. Go get that. That's mm-hmm. not what the FRS is. Right. People wanted it to be that. The, the Z to me, um, it feels like the, at the end or at the, how long was the gap between Z32 and Z33? Probably like eight years, right? It's like ninety six. I think it's think the Z. Oh, you mean when the, the the time when they didn't make what, one? It came yeah. out in like oh two oh three, I think. Right? Yeah, it was yeah. like somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when the three fifty Z was like first being like that was like that was like hot shit. 
but people were like oh this better be like faster than a twin turbo uh, z like that was it's like you expect right because z31 to z32 it just like blew it out of the sure, water i mean yeah. it's like a totally different thing and the 350z they were like come on we want like even more right we want that jump again and it was like i remember they were like well it's actually faster yeah I'm like zero to 60 but it had yeah. less horsepower right it was like 280 right compared to the was 300 it? no i think it was yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think, right. yeah, I think in the like beginning it was like two. Yeah, I think because well, whatever my dad, it was, yeah. they were like, "No, it's better." Yeah, you know, and it's like, eh, it is, but just an, an NA motor is like they're just kind of lame, unless I, it's a V8. I don't know. I mean, I really like. I mean, didn't that motor was cool when it first came out, wasn't it? It's not a bad car. I'm just saying people were expecting it to be this like. Yeah, because a Z32 was. That was so far from a 240Z. Yeah. A twin turbo Z32. It was like they had, they had, they had deviated. Although it's hard to say what, because to us, a 240Z feels like super fucking sports cut. Like this thing's a fucking bare bones. Yeah. But then like in 1970, like I'm guessing it probably felt like a little, like, I guess you're a right. Little a little more higher, higher, cheaper. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, and like, yeah, like this is a good real sports car. Like, yeah, I assume, but I, I don't know. I don't think it was like, wow, this thing is fast. Yeah, no. though. No. Whereas Z thirty two when it came out, it was like this is fast. Right, like this thing is crazy mm-hmm. fast. Right, and three fifty Z was not really that. It was like, oh, this is back to being. How do we make a really good sports car? Right, right. Whether or not the 240 was that. Mm-hmm. And I was afraid. Now they've gone Z32 again. That's what I feel like is they release something where this thing should be fast now. Mm-hmm. Like good for them. Because if that honestly, if it was NA, I think it would be laughed out of the room. I think the, I think NA would be fine if they like reinvented yeah, something. Which, which they're, they're not, not. Right. Because they're, <laughs> they're not going yeah. to. I mean, they either would have had to do a, this like mild iteration of the outgoing motor or put in the only good motor they have, which they did do, which mm-hmm. I was hoping they did. Um, I was also thinking it'd be funny. What if it came out with the BMW straight <laughs> <laughs> twin turbo? It's like the super motor. Yeah. <laughs> what? Or just the same car. Yeah. Well, a 240Z has to have a straight <laughs> We knew from As the we beginning. always said. We knew. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think... Uh, and the other, the other thing I don't like is they're... Like when you, first of all, when you spend that long waiting to like follow up a car that's been out for Mm -hmm. 12 years. But do you think they're actually working on it? I don't fucking know. That's the thing. I think this is like a, I think they probably started in like 2014 and then shelved it for like five years. That's that's, a, that's what it feels like. And then it like. was like, boot the team back up. Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't have anything, but, did and, they? And, I didn't watch no, the presentation, no, but the, it's like... Yeah, the, that's that's the thing. They're not like the new Z, like, uh, like coming next fall. Yeah, like, they're just... Like, order it now. They clearly like... They're just like, this is a prototype of what the next Gen Z yeah, would, they would had look a, like. But they they had a physical one, right? Yeah, they built, yeah, they built one. Yeah, and, so it was, they, and it was clearly built on a Z34. So it's like, right? yeah, so it's like a design team... And like we could probably fit this motor in it, but we haven't yet. Mm-hmm. And like you know, it's like they threw it together right. really quick. But I don't know. I'm but, for it. But basically, there's nothing on that car. There's no reason for that car to come out now rather than in 2015. I wonder if it was aside from Nissan just being strapped for yeah, well, money, yeah, that's money the, and resources. That that's the reality. Yeah, I mean, it's just that purely mm-hmm. right. Yeah, I was thinking about it though. What other car exists? like that what other japanese turbo rear wheel drive stick shift car nothing now because there's only like two of those to start well all the stuff in the 90s though yeah but i mean nothing right now but there's nothing now right no see i think this is gonna be a hit i think it could have been better i'm sure but like i don't know man there's not really anything like this i feel like like, unless unless, my i haven't driven one of those twin turbo v6s which the, one? like the infinite like the oh, infinity motor. Sure. the motor in that car is not new it's been around for five six years but it's it's the same family as the gtr motor it's vr yeah. Yeah, i mean it's built on the same the gtr isn't known for having like a super awesome motor is it what yeah totally really? are you kidding why do you think there's so many like half mile well, i mean it's i mean it's you, you can i mean you power. can build a, i guess if you want to go super fucking fast i guess that's but. what i mean this car needed to be 
Because they're not going to make something where it's like, wow, nothing drives like that. It's Nissan. They're not. It's <laughs> yeah. like they just don't have the. Which at one time you did not have to say. No. Yeah. You know, it could have been that. But we're not there anymore. Yeah. And so it's like this. This is, is Nissan confronting. Yeah. Their- given what they are, mm-hmm. this is a home run to me. Mm-hmm. They every, Assuming they actually build it. If they actually build it. Because it could have been like auto only. I mean, mm-hmm. any straw they could have grabbed, they mm-hmm. did. Clearly, as long as they don't make it look, even as it is, I think it's fine. The front end's a little dorky, but it's like, release it like that. I think it'll sell until Supra puts a stick. <laughs> Did they put a top price top. tag on it or no? No. No, they didn't. Okay. I don't no, know. There's no like, thing is there's like no date. One there's step no, that's what I didn't know. Hype dream at this point. Because the, the only other competitors, I don't, is the RCF Turbo? No. No. Oh, okay. So the, yeah, RCF like SC500. like those. those are way too nice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I didn't know if this was going to be in. I can't the, imagine that thing is going to be cheap though. I mean, I bet it's, that thing it's, is fifty it's, grand. Eh, well, maybe like yeah, probably, probably, 40, probably forties. I would say mid. I think it'll sell though. I mean, seriously, there's nothing like this. This is like, this is exactly what people wanted the Supra to be. It's a motor made by Nissan. It is a stick, mm-hmm. and it looks good enough. So much of me just goes back to like how much American cars have just kind of like wiped the floor with those things. Because like in yeah. in ninety five. It was like, oh, you could get a 300ZX twin turbo or you can get like a Cobra. Yeah, yeah right. And like, I mean, a, a Z32 was like a pretty radical car. Compared. I mean, now it's like you can get a fucking 480 horsepower yeah. like NA mm-hmm. Mustang or Camaro. Like, or you can have a twin turbo V6 if, yeah. you're, if you're more of like the tuner exotic yeah, they type. Don't, yeah, they don't. Um, if, if you want something that revs lower and like gets worse fuel economy, <laughs> yeah. you can get a fucking Z. From a company that may or may not make it through the next decade. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Yeah. If you want something that's going to get really fucking hot under the hood when you're going to yeah, they're like beat on it. Slipping. Fucking heat soaking. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be good. I think I think this is exactly. I say, unless there's like a bunch of tricks that they like just kind of glossed over in their marketing language. Like, like they like, you know, went like deep on the feel of the engine and the transmission. And like they like totally like Dude, owned a, it on the chassis. I don't no, know. Exactly what it is. 370Z with that motor in it in a stick would sell. That's all it needs to be. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean, there's already a bunch of supercharged and turbocharged Zs, and they're all. No one wants to supercharge. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean, you can, you can get the same thing. No, nah, yeah. I don't think it's the same. I think this thing's gonna be the bee's knees. It'd be like the same thing if they just released like a supercharged FRS. That'd be amazing. That's yeah. what people are I mean, clamoring about. It would, it would about. be cool, but it wouldn't be like a game changer. It'd be I like it, it would save you the hassle, I guess. Dude, if there had been a turbo STI. FRS this whole time, people would not shut up about it. Yeah. That's how I feel. The Super kind of changed that, but I don't know. I'm a big fan. Uh, if they produce it in the next <laughs> like three years or something, it's a big if. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I think those things are going to be. I already want one. I'm not going to buy one. <laughs> I'm no. I'll, I'll watch an auction. I'm bringing a trailer. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. watch the release from a distance. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Okay. Um, and finally, um, <laughs> on the subject of the, this, uh, this came to us from Garrett. This is mm-hmm. a Craigslist foibles. <laughs> yeah. Like of all thing. of our one, Craigslist one of topics. Yeah. yeah. So here is the ad. This is the only thing I saved from it. 2015 Nissan, <laughs> <laughs> which, which off the bat is pretty sweet. Uh-huh. I think it's a van. Clearly not a typo because the A and O are not close to. <laughs> yeah, the he t- they probably tried to auto correct mm-hmm. and he pushed through it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, like, that's pretty funny. But the the thing that this kind of um, made me like reminisce about, well, maybe they still do this, is when it's basically like a bench seat and the console. You just like sit at the console like you're at a fucking like power station mm-hmm. like nuclear power <laughs> plant and re- you know it's like they're you're not it's like in cars it's like the the dashboard like envelops you yeah. <laughs> and like you know this thing is just like you're at the console <laughs> you're like at the, <laughs> you're just sort of like sitting at the like driver's you're station in the, you're in the drawbridge <laughs> yeah, uh, you're right. just like you're like pulling levers and whatever i don't know why when there's no center console it makes me feel like that like approach the it's very comfortable approach the driving desk <laughs> yeah and do your driving <laughs> do your driving operations <laughs> anyways i enjoyed that a lot the old quest there it is is that what it is a quest, Nissan quest. I yeah i can't save anything about it that's actually a sweet van yeah i'll see 
but they do not. One of the few things Nissan was doing right in Nissan 2015. Nissan had some decent things that they all got rid of. Mm-hmm. Like the Cube, I kind of like the Cube. I know, you see them now. Yeah. You know what's funny? I have noticed, okay, this is a double and finally, <laughs> yes. And, and finally. And extra finally, is a company will have this like quirky thing. Mm-hmm. Like they'll kind of come out with something that's like, well, that's different. Like the Cube mm-hmm. or like the XB right. or something where it's just like out of the gate, it's quirky and mm-hmm. like funky. And remember, and it's like, that. it's only good because of that. Yeah. And then the second generation, they'll just like puss way out. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like this... Mm-hmm. car that sort of looks uh-huh. like the first generation Got melted or something <laughs> but it's yeah like they they never go even harder yeah it's always like they turn it down oh like the feedback they got was like well it's a little different mm-hmm. yeah a little, too, oh, a little too funky i don't like the way it looks yeah, let's make it less different it's like it's like <laughs> the, okay it's like the first gen insight versus the second one yeah just yeah. any of them are yeah. just like weird and wild yeah. and then it's like they bring it back tone in it down. yeah and then like there is no third gen <laughs> <laughs> it just dies. Mm. It's like, well, no one liked the mm. stupid compromised <laughs> one. So I don't know. The cube. Did they they didn't do a second gen cube? I don't right? think so. Well the though. one that we got was the third generation. Oh really? That was the only one that they sold in America. Oh, oh. And they never they did not follow they gave even, up. Even even overseas. They never well at least they didn't cube. like bring it over here as like the rounded, <laughs> rounded <laughs> the, like sphere. The, the funny thing about the cube is actually this is going down a rabbit hole, but if you look at the first generation cube, uh-huh. which was not sold here, like it doesn't look anything like it was called cube, but it doesn't look, but like it doesn't, it doesn't, it's really, not it doesn't, it doesn't really, I mean, it's kind of squarish, but it doesn't really look like a, yeah, like a cube. Well, yeah. well John will add a picture. Here's and then, the, and then the second generation, they went with like the very distinct, it's very cubish. And then the third generation that we got was like a little bit rounded. Yeah. They, oh, just, really? they just radius to the corners, but, but not, yeah. not that much. The first gen yeah. would have been too crazy. <laughs> no, the first gen was like, I mean, second yeah, gen. Yeah, so they, yeah. The second gen was the like peak cube. When was second? Was that around Scion XB? Second was probably, yeah. Dang, some, they should have brought like, it. Probably, well, probably like even this, the XB, I think came out in like, late 90s in japan i think i'm surprised xbs aren't like going up in value they they're still li- it's, a li- it's still a little you think new. it's a little soon yeah. that feels like something that could to me it's a pretty iconic that was a color. big deal for a second there mm-hmm. yeah damn let's end on that uh-huh. yeah, folks. <laughs> top tip uh-huh. it's coming xb xb all right well anyways thank you for being here uh, we really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for hanging out in the new studio with us Mm -hmm. and we will see you next time peace out see you